So we have him in like a big indoor pen with an outdoor run on it. Yeah. Because he was so poorly, he'd been kept indoors. And it's a good, I don't know, it's the size of a stable. Yeah. It's like a good sized stable. But it's, it's a breeze block building. Yeah. And he was climbing the walls. Healthier looking. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's it. That's it. Lovely. Good result. And we've all got our fingers. <laughs> in here. Right. And we're lying down in front of one of the kennels in there. Right. It just sort of it's like he crawled away to die really. Yeah. There was nothing of him at all. I mean, you can't get away with that with us around, obviously. <laughs> you won't die yet. Yeah, it's, no. it's on the RSPCA and it's like Somerset was the nearest one. And I thought, oh, I, didn't, I didn't really, I guess there's lo loads of people like you guys out there rescuing wildlife, but I hadn't really thought about it. There aren't, there aren't that many locally, actually. We, we try to cover a 30 mile radius. Right. And it's only once you hit that 30 mile radius you start touching on other centres yeah. who you hope are working back towards you as well. But yeah. there's, there aren't that many and um, it's, well, it's, there's no money in it. It's not a money thing. So, yeah, yeah. It's so how do you generate any you public funding? It's oh, just really? purely on donation. Oh, right. Okay. So, so, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, have a look yeah, on the I'll website. Have a <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank oh, you very thank much you. for that. Anyway, thanks for calling us. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh.